peace of believers like oh All right, guys, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. Last time we did a few side quests, and now we are going to go attend Beast Class. And uh, as you can see, I'm in Hogsmeade, so it's going to take me a minute to get over there. Who is our welcome, Beast Professor? Everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. <laughs> Here, you can practice on Gerald. What a Just coincidence. <laughs> we heard about this creature in the last, uh, the last video. Brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it. Okay, um. Guess we could do that for right now. Oh, I like us. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Sure. Here you go, little guy. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Bogies. I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Alright, let's go see them. Lead the way. Oh. Couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Hey, hey, no. Something from honey jukes. <laughs> no. <sighs> Stupid thing. <sighs> you want to get beat? What in Merlin's name are you doing? <sighs> tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come oh, to an good. end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. That now, was the shortest class of all where time. Is our new student? I'm ah, right here. There you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. 
I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Oh. Alrighty. Psst. Psst. Over here. Poppy? Yes, Poppy, how may I help you? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's yeah, what is that supposed to mean? It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Oh, let's go. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Oh, I really? feel special. Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having. Don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Alright. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. So this is the student that loves magical beasts more than people. Stand back. Whoa. Hippogriff. Buckbeak. Please meet High Wing. High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Not as good as Buckbeak. Go introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show Hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. That's right. Bow. Can I feed you? I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I can with the brushing every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. This is pretty cool. I like it. Can we fly now? <laughs> I guess not. What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Probably. Perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Oh. I've seen it firsthand with her. That's How awesome. Exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. 
but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. You be careful, Poppy. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Alright, first beast class complete. Another level up. We're almost strong enough to start using our talent points. But let's head back to the castle and go on to the next main story quest. <laughs> no. I'm a little confused. Revelio. Oh. I gotta talk to this guy. <laughs> and I was trying to figure out how to get into the door. Accio. I'm so confused. Um, maybe we'll figure this out later. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose it was. you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. And from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Interesting. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Interesting. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form Rebellion. of a demigod. A demigod? That's why he saw a demigod. Yes. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up 
and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. All right, then. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. So we just know Alohomora just by practicing. Hello? Hamora. Oh, there we go. So we need to have that one equipped. And where is Alo Hamora? What the fuck is it? Alohomora. Oh, what the hell? I'm confused. Got it. That took a good minute. Jesus. Oh, well done. You're in. That was Remember, harder than it looked. Use a disillusionment charm so no one claps. This is a restricted area of the castle. Yeah, yeah. Revelio. Sneaky sneak around. Ah. How are your students getting along with you? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're Professor a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. And Professor uh, Sharp, too. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Hello, Hamora. Easier than the last one, that, that is. This isn't just the prefect's bathroom, is it? It's 
the female prefix bathroom. My marching professor Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. Right. Why don't you leave God? All right. Now one more. I'm a prefect too, you twit. That's it. Fifty health points. He uh -uh. Says you can't do that. Hello, Hamora. Perfect. And it gives me crap. Of course it does. Oh, toilet. This guy. Revenue. Not really sure how though. Can I do pet Petrificus Totalis on him? The head Shit. Now. I suppose Professor Black knows. I can't. Students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Yes. Terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? My God! Come on! I don't know how to get these two to move. Not to get both of them. Snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match. Wow. If there ever is one. I suppose you should. I literally only had to walk past. That's annoying. And walking past them just makes them leave. Nice. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, there's a chest in here. And I can't pick this lock yet. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Are you kidding me? Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Alright, we're good. She got stuck. That's funny. Oh, how did I miss this the first time? Revelio. Fuck. And there's a page too, no. Now come back. Come back, please. Revenue. Aha. Don't you bring your ass up here. He's bringing his ass up here, isn't he? Nope, he's going back down. Good. Fuck out of here. Stop going the same way I'm going, you bastard. Wait, hold on. Revelio. Some locks over here that I still can't unlock. Damn it. Okay, there's one that I can. What's this? Oh, that's for the thing. 
Hello, Homora. Revelio. Let's get out of here now. Wait, 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 wait. No. Fuck. No way, you don't see me. Spying on the professor. Fuck you. Fuck you. You bastard. Ah! Yeah, get fucked, nerd. NERD! Alright, home free. Wait. There's a lock in this one. Yeah. Hello, Amora. Revelio. Money. Oh, no, not money. I don't look like there's anything else in here. Oh. How did I almost miss that? That had money in it. And I can get out of here. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. <sighs> but that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. Thank and you. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Oh, fuck. Things are everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Alrighty. That's... Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. But what do we do now? Alright, because we can't do the next main story quest without doing, uh, going to potions class first and learning a spell, we're gonna do that. So that at the start of the next episode, we can start the next main story quest. an exciting day of potions. How are your assignments coming along? All done. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Let's do it. What does it do? 
Do not let your mind wander. Depulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should. Not to go flinging your coffee. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. It's I been days and we could still have this chat. Too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Well, thank you. And with that, we are going to end today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. No matter what, I'm gonna put up a fight. Damn right, I gotta survive. Moving through the dark, trying to make it to the light. Can't be caught slipping, I won't be dead by day.